Yo, what's going on guys? JB8 here and today I'm back on R Factor 2 once again in the V8 Supercar. It's been a little bit of a quick turnaround since our last video in this uh, category at Townsville. But today we are heading up north to Darwin for what is somewhat of a recreation of the Hidden Valley race that takes place here each year. I'm not sure if it's going to actually take place this year with the whole COVID situation and the reschedule, but we'll soon see what happens. I have managed to qualify ninth, so we are somewhat towards the front. Um, although this track being so far up north i've set it to what the weather usually is in darwin and it is hot so we have to be really careful with the tires today because we are going to blast them at some point um, throughout this race we need to really keep the temps down not lean on them too much and not wheel spin too much as well so i've sort of set the car up in a way that will protect the rear tires mainly um, but yeah so it is going to be a 28 lap race which is around half of what it is in real life um all the races on my channel uh, always 50% race distance just because it's uh, I, feel, I find it's the best sort of medium between not running too long to the point where the AI completely screw up and not running too short to the point where you don't get any sort of strategy um, work in. So yeah, without any further ado, we'll head down onto the grid. Just do this quick formation lap and we'll get underway here in a sec. Alrighty, here we go. Supercars at Hidden Valley Raceway on our Factor 2. Pretty even start. See if we can get to the inside. Oh, man, they're fanning out three wide. Oh, mate, we've got a couple here. Oh, up to, up to fourth. That's gone well. Alright, through the first sort of couple corners into this squirmy braking zone. Now into the tightest corner on the track. Oh, squeeze! Then we got some pace here on lap one, I'll tell you what. Throughout practice, we had good sort of short run pace. It's just when the tire goes away, I seem to struggle. The AI just naturally get quicker and I get slower. Oh, too much curb. All right, ninth to third in the first lap. I wasn't expecting to do that. I mean, we got lucky by all the AI running wide at turn one, but that's actually quite realistic because that <laughs> generally happens around here on turn one. Clipping the chip. And this long left hander. It's sort of semi double apex if you can get it right. And through this quick chicane, I must admit, this um, rendition of Hidden Valley Raceway isn't the most realistic I've seen. There's a lot of curbs sort of that aren't right and trees and whatnot, but the layout is pretty much there. Plus, it's the most realistic thing we could find, so. have to stick with it but running around in third man we got some good short run pace here set the difficulty to 110 percent which is basically what i always run it at or base it off sometimes i have to go up and down based on how the ai perform at each uh track that's one of the sort of downsides of r factor 2 is that ai are always quicker and slower on different tracks um you find some tracks that you go to where they just are ridiculously fast and some others where you have to bump it up because they're too slow. And now we just got to protect this tyre, not blast it too early. I'm going to aim to pit on lap number nine. Oh, come on, Joseph, be careful with those revs. It's 37 degrees out. Cannot overheat this bad boy. We are driving a Ford Mustang, if you haven't already noticed. This is the 23 red paint scheme or Milwaukee racing uh, car that was driven by Will Davison before they sort of folded during the COVID-19 break. Uh, come on, Joseph. Enough wheel spin. All right, three laps are in the books, starting to Lose that pace now. We got good old Scotty McLaughlin behind us. A 
car feels good, I must admit. Just doesn't quite have the pace. I've gone probably a little bit too soft in the setting. But she'll be right. By the way, if you have R Factor 2 and want to check out any of the mods I use in today's video, they are in the description below. I do recommend the FVR Supercars mods. They are always really good. I mean, there are aspects of this mod that I would say is actually more realistic than the ones that are on iRacing. I definitely much prefer it than iRacing. I find the iRacing... Um... V8 supercar mod is ruined sort of by the tyre model in that if you sort of break traction or lose that side bite, you so all of a sudden you're fighting for your life <laughs> and end up dying more often than not. Whereas on our factor two, ooh, got that lip all wrong. Um, the tyre model sort of means that you can slide the car and catch it. You know, it's a lot more realistic in that way. I struggle to hold on to third here. A uh, line of cars queuing up. So, the last dry race I did on R Factor 2 in the supercars was at Winton, and it was similar to this a soft tyre round. I tried to do that on one stop. I'm going to try and do this race on two stops just purely because I don't believe I could get the tyre to the end on one stop. And it's already starting to wear out now. I can feel it going from underneath me. He's getting close. Just make it to this first pit stop. Pit. Get out. Clean air. Use that new tyre. Hopefully undercut some of these guys. I don't know what the AI is going to do. No, no one ever knows what the AI is going to do on R Factor 2. So they'll do their own strategy that I'm sure that will, will be absolutely nuts. Ah, I'm overdriving it now, trying to hold on to this position. Definitely good through that first and sort of middle sector. It's this last sector that seemed to struggle. Uh, on. Oh, nailed that. We're on lap six, so yeah, pit in a couple of laps here. Six, six seconds behind the leaders, struggling. <laughs> We are too slow. Although, if he screws that up like that, whew, hold on to it. That was a handy <laughs> retake. Having a good old ding dong for third here. The leaders have absolutely checked out, but. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Did not have the same tyre you once did. I know two nine. Jesus, man, there's no way I can make <laughs> make that pace. about a lunge there. Now I do have experience in Darwin at Hidden Valley Raceway but not well not Hidden Valley Raceway not the actual this track at the um had experience at the kart track next door managed to win a karting state championship back in I think it was like 2011. So 
awesome kart track, I must admit. All I remember is that it was so ridiculously hot that you do your out lap and then your first flying lap would be like three tenths quicker than your next lap and then your next lap would be three tenths slower than your next lap and then it was like just incredible how much the tire overheated after like one or two laps so you'd always sort of especially in like qualifying or something just go really slow on that out lap and just blast it <laughs> and then you get two laps and may as well pit This um, for anyone watching that's not from Australia, this circuit is in a, well, a place called Darwin, as I've said multiple times already, and that is the very northmost, well, not the very northmost point, but northern part of Australia, and where it is, because most people forget how big Australia is, where it is all the way up at the very tip of Australia is actually quite close to the equator. Which means that it's just hot all year round. It's like whenever I, whenever you look at the news in Australia, Darwin is always 36 degrees. Like without feather of a doubt, it will always be around 36 degrees, even in winter when the when the rest of the country is like minus two. It'll be Darwin at 36. Anyway, I'm gonna pit this lap actually. Just realised gone past our sort of first pit stop, but that's all right means that we're keeping these AI behind us and hold them, holding them up a little bit longer. In fact, I might just go one lap further here. That's no, great, I'll do it this lap because I'm about to lose a heap of positions. Hope this two stop race actually works. Alright. Actually, we'll see what the AI does. I might just actually just change this to a one stop because that tyre wear is nowhere near as low as what I thought it was going to be. So, I might be able to get away with a one stop around here. I wouldn't have thought so in practice, but then I haven't been driving it quite as hard as what I was in the practice session. Okay, now we've got a sort of make up some time here. That looks like the guy in second. It's interesting. Yeah, because it was the other Penske Ford Mustang that was behind us. So we've actually, by undercutting and short fueling, so that's another trick I have that the AI don't is the fact I can sort of choose what fuel to start off with and short fill it on the first stop. Make up a lot of time in the pits by doing that. It's interesting. Here is the leader.
Alright, I think I'm officially going to change to a one-stop here. I thought I was going to have to do this in two stops, but I reckon this tyre... Actually, I'll tell you what it is. It's probably the, all this um, rubber that's been laid down. It means that the tyre's not really grading across the surface like what it was in the practice session, which was a lot greener, as they call it. So not as much rubber down. But we're up to second, sort of, once all the pit stops fizzle out. Actually, it's just about holding on to the leader here. Right, halfway there. Can we make it to the end on this tyre? I reckon we can. It's going to be hard. I struggle to hold on to second. In fact, I, I doubt we'll hold on to second at all. Trying to be as smooth as I can here. Yeah, so there's the rest of the AI pitting. So by short fueling, try and get to the end and chuck on that new tyre on so much earlier than the AI. We've managed to undercut a lot, even though we well, not really undercut, but we've managed to gain a huge advantage on the cars that were in second, or well, third, no, fourth behind me. Yeah, because I was in third. I'm trying to remember where I was in the race at that point in time. Oh, come on, Joseph. Sort it out. this Ford starts getting really antsy behind us then I might just let him go by so that we can hold on to this third place podium sometimes it's better just to concede Waiting for the rest of the AI to pit. Yeah, just 
just going to concede that one. See if we can just hold on to this podium place. Still got a good 10 laps to go here. Alright, so we've got around five seconds to the car behind. Try and hold on to this gap. Yeah, come on. Oh man, we're going to struggle to hold on to this podium. The, la the cars behind us have just caught up a whole second and a half in that last lap.
right, here they come. They're coming. Is he coming? We've got around five laps to go. Nailed that last one. It's going to save us one more lap. Hopefully they start fighting behind us and gives us a little bit more time to try and hold on to this podium. Come on. Got to hold on to this podium. We have to defend like hell. up every last bit of this tire. <laughs> There's going to be none left at the end of this race. No, 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 no. Ah. Lock the rears. God dang it, man. Idiot. I hate that braking zone. You can sort of come out of that quick right and left hander so oh, out of balance that all of a sudden I have to smash down on the brakes and. As the rear tyres have gone away, I probably should have moved that bias to the rear a little bit earlier, to be honest, but caught it out. Caught me out too late. Anyway, let's just try and hold on to a top five now. <laughs> Lost the podium. God, man, what an idiot. Two laps to go. Can't believe I just did that. I find myself saying that a lot recently, to be honest. Just trying to spar 24 hours. I got three and a half hours into the race and managed to fence it. Mind you, that was wet, and Eau Rouge plus GT3 cars plus rain is not, not a good thing. No. 
No, 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 no. No! Idiot. Alright, last lap, come on, let's see if we can get him back. <laughs> Full send. Nothing left. Alright, around the last corner. Get a finish six. Definitely should have done a little bit better there. Made too many mistakes on the older tyre, but still six is better than where we started, so we move forward. Just, yeah, pitted probably a little bit too early. Used up too much of the tyre. See those? Oh, no. Wasn't looking at the road. Yeah. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more V8 supercars throughout the rest of 2020. Anyway, guys, until next time, catch you guys later.